Hey guys, King Azra here with another video. Today we're going to talk about the third Mizukage, one of the most mysterious characters in the Naruto series. You know, he's such, he's not like an important character, but he's a Kage, you know, he's the third Mizukage, and we don't know anything about him. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. So today, I'm, we're going to try to figure out who he is. So the first thing that really strikes me about him is that he's at the Kage Summit, um, which, you know, you look at who's at the Kage Summit, every single village has the second, you know, the next Kage, basically, except Kirigakure. They have the third Mizukage, which is really weird. Obviously, it could have just been maybe Kishimoto decided that, yeah, I don't know. Well, no, actually, when I think about it, no, yeah, he would have decided it because that would have been, um, after Mew. So it's really weird that he didn't have him appear instead. Um, or the Hozuki guy, my bad. Mew is the guy for the Susu Kage. Yeah. I'm getting my Kages mixed up. So, the first thing that comes to mind is the Seven Swordsmen. Um... So, with the Seven Swordsmen of the Mist, um, one of the questions I think has to be asked is who made the swords, right? Because, you know, the swords didn't just appear. You know, there's a reason that these swords exist and someone had to make them. And we don't really have who made them. Uh, it isn't, you know, it isn't really, we don't really know. And one of the things, you know, we don't we don't really know if there are any um, swordsmen of the mist before Guy's team is attacked, um, which might be this guy might have been the one who made the swords. That was the first theory to prevail here, and I think this could be possible. Um, we don't really have an idea of you know when. They came along, but we do know all the swords were probably made by the same person, I like to think. You know, all of these really unique and odd swords had to be made by somebody. Um, and we don't really have, um, we don't really have exactly who could have been the one, right? Like, we, like, we know that somebody in the mist created them, most likely. Or these could be kind of like treasured tools, but I don't really think so. They're not that powerful, right? So, somebody had to make them, and you know, he would be one of the best candidates. The only other candidate is probably the first Mizukage. And why would he be the one to make the swords? Um, I think in general, he could have been a you know, he kind of, to me, looks like, kind of like a swordsman. I know he's kind of weird, but he kind of has that uh, he kind of looks like Bakura. Not Bakura, what am I... Uh, Bak I can't even say his name. The guy from Bleach, the sixth division captain. I'm blanking his um, name right now. Uh, but uh, Baku, uh, Bak I can't even say it. You guys know who I'm talking about. You guys probably know who I'm talking about. Uh, from Bleach. Uh, you know, he just kind of remind me of that he kind of got the little little scarf thing kind of going, you know, like him, he's got the closed eye, black hair, and you know, that's not really like a, um, a good, um, you know, analysis that isn't necessarily saying anything, but to me, that could possibly be, you know, a really good sign of maybe it's alluding to that, I don't know, uh, because we kind of have to tread water here, because we don't really know anything as, as about the Kages in general. Only the Kages really appear in the series. And even the Kages who appear, most of them get, you know, really, like, underused. Which is one of the things I would say about Naruto. I think one of the weakest points about Naruto that uh, the other two big series, at least from the 2000s, that it's compared to Bleach and One Piece, did better is that they explored the world better. Bleach didn't do a great job, but they explored the world a little bit and didn't just make it all of the Soul Reapers or all of the strong people. 
yeah, the strongest person, some of the strongest people in the series are Soul Reapers, but in Naruto, all of the strongest characters either come from Konoha or come from space. That That's basically it, which is uh, pretty, uh, pretty whack. So, we don't really know exactly, right? What we do know, the other thing we do know, is that Kirigakure, the Bloody Mist, didn't necessarily start with the fourth Mizukage. Um, you know, we don't know exactly. Um, we know that oh, Madara was, you know, manipulating vets in Kirigakure. But we know that the fourth Mizukage probably wasn't the first... Um, you know, the first thing. So, it's entire so, it's entirely possible that this guy might have been affected by, um, you know, Madara 2 at some point, you know, because it seems like now, this is me speculating. We're kind of moving on to the fourth music card. Obviously, that's not really the point of the video, but it will connect. Because we have to timeline this, right? One of the things, too, is that we don't really have a good timeline of where the characters are. Because the fourth, because the thing is, we'll talk about Rin. So, with Rin, they're trying to seal the three tails in her, right? So, that would suggest that, you know, she was... The third, the three tails, excuse me, the three tails was unsealed. So the question is, was Yagura dead? Well, Yagura couldn't have been dead because then, you know, if Yagura is dead, right? If Yagura is dead at that moment, then why isn't the fifth music card coming back? Because the fifth, it seems like in the, this is a filler, but there was a filler arc where the fifth music card guy is like, I can't go to the, um, they were invited to a, like a shooting exams and they didn't come. Now, that isn't necessarily to say that she was elected right then, but, you know, the fifth Mizukage is like young. She hasn't been Kage for a long time, it seems like. So I think that credence again, that the fourth ruled probably until around the time of Naruto, like the original Naruto, maybe died a little earlier, but, you know, around that time, um, which correlates with, like, the fourth Kazakai as well, who died around that time as well, and we kind of, like, it was, like, kind of everyone moved to the fifth, except, you know, the two other villages, but, you know, they're different villages, so, that, to me, either means that Yagura seemed like he was pretty young when he died, so, to me, that means Yagura had not be, had not become the Jinchuriki yet, so, the third Mizukar was probably in power at the time, and they were helping Madara. So, to me, that also means that this guy could have been influenced by Madara in some way. Uh, how much, to you know, to the extent, I'm not exactly sure. And maybe that's why his eyes are closed. I don't know. Uh, he could be blind or something. We don't know. That'd be another interesting thing. Is he a, a blind? Like, of all these that has his eyes just closed, is he blind or anything? You know, that would be really interesting. Um... So, the, the, he could have made the swords, um, but at the same time, there's a chance also that the, you know, he wasn't the one who made it, but it was the first Mizukage, the first Mizukage Bakurin, I think that's how you say his name. Um, yeah, so it is one of the things that we kind of have to figure out. Like, he could have been the one to make the swords, but he could have not been the strongest guy. Um, you know, so that is a question to be had. So, to piece this all together in this little video, I think that more likely than not, the first Mizukage recruited whoever the third Mizukage is, and he was the one who created the swords. Or at the very least, him and the first Mizukage were the ones who created the swords together. 
after that point, there was some sort of falling out. Um, probably, or and maybe not a falling out, but there was definitely a he regressed at some point. Perhaps he didn't want to become the Kage. Um, you know, perhaps he wasn't very interested in leading the village. He was interested in, you know, just being a fighter. If he, like, created all the swords, perhaps he trained the seven swords of the mist, the first generation and generations beyond and after. And, you know, the second took over. And the second Mizukage probably died during the first great ninja war. Um, I think that's kind of when all of the seconds die. That's when the thirds took place. Uh, you know, that's not verbatim true. Obviously, we don't know. But I think it could be, considering that Toby Rama dies. Um, and the second Raikage might have died as well. It's not really specifically said or not. But it kind of looks that way with the Kinkaku Ginkaku stuff, which is not another ball entirely crazy right but if those two died and we know that the second mizukage and the suchikage killed each other it could have been during the first war as well in the second sunakai um kazakage we don't really know exactly what happened with him but it seemed i think he was assassinated or something so that might have been during the first war as well maybe maybe it was before the second war because i think in the second war all of the third kages were up but anyway not the point right the point is that at some point, he became the third Mizukage. He probably was the first trainer of the Seven Swordsmen. He probably created the swords and gave them off all, gave them, you know, to their owners. And at some point, maybe before this, he was manipulated by Madara in some way. And this led him to want to um, help Madara. Maybe he was being kind of controlled. And that led to the events with Rin. And he was a Kage Sam. And after this event, he would eventually, the plans would kind of shift, and they would, Yagra would be made the Tailed Beast. Considering the Tailed Beast can be sealed in Rin, perhaps Yagra was the, kind of like the main option until Madara suggested Rin. Obviously, he probably didn't know about all the Obito stuff. And this is during the Third War, too. And after this point, Yagra is probably a young man, and Obito probably this is probably after the events with the uh, Nine-Tailed Fox. After that event, perhaps Yagura killed the third Mizukage because now he wasn't really under the control of Madara because Madara eventually died. So he probably was killed soon after. Um, perhaps he was, you know, you know, killed during the events. Maybe Obito's kind of first thing he did was kill the third Mizukage. And he, he was probably pretty old by that point, so maybe he wasn't really that strong. Probably was like somewhat retired, kind of like a Hiruzen, except Hiruzen was still really strong, so he maybe he just wasn't as. But I think that's a, a solid idea of who he could be. And, you know, it's one of the things, once again, um, with the Naruto series. It's kind of hard to figure out, you know, how strong character, not how strong, but, you know, what each character is all about considering that a lot of things are it's so centralized on konoha which is uh yeah so it was it is a little difficult but you know this is just my speculation on who the third mizukage is i might be doing a little more of the series because if you guys enjoy um probably will explore a different village next time a different kage to explore who they could be you know i thought i would do this because i think it would be really cool to just think to you know kind of speculate on who these characters could be and uh yeah I'll catch you all guys later. Peace.